Hello everybody, uh, welcome to my video. Today what I'm going to show you is taking an existing non-version controlled project and converting it to a version controlled project so that I can use configuration as code using Octopus Deploy. So on screen what we have is our uh, Octo Pet Shop. Octo Pet Shop is a solution that you should be fairly familiar with but for those who are unsure of it, uh, what I would say is um, uh, Octo Pet Shop is a sample application that we use at Octopus Deploy to show uh, multi-tier applications. In this uh, video I am going to focus more on the configuration as code rather than Octo Pet Shop. So what you can see on screen is we have Octo Pet Shop, we have a release created and it's been deployed to test and production. So if you select production, just to show that this is not smoke and mirrors, let's have a look. This should open and then what you should see is the production website uh, and it's been deployed. If you come down to version control, we can see that the options uh, for a URL are present. Uh, the, the main branch, uh, or obviously your default branch name, and lastly, you have the authentication and then the git file storage directory. So in this instance, I will input the URL. As you can see, this is github.com forward slash DevOps Derek, and then this is my Octo Pet Shop Git repository. I am going to leave the default branch name in place. So as you can see, this is just the main branch. With the authentication options, um, you can set it up under library and or you can also uh, use it per project. In this instance, I actually have already went ahead and created the account. So you see, I've mapped this to the service account. As you come down to the git file storage directory, you can um, create a folder, for instance, example for config. That's code. This would create uh, the dot octopus folder. Then within there, there would be an example for config as code. So I, in this instance, I am just going to remove that. I'm just going to keep the default options for all. Uh, so you can see the GitHub repository. So let's come on over. We should see that we have the GitHub repository. And as you can see, there is no dot octopus folder. So one thing just to be aware of, whatever authentication you use, it must have uh, the required permissions. So I'm going to select to test this. And as you can see, it's verified successfully. And then I'm going to select configure. In this instance, it will give you a warning. You are about to configure the Octo Pet Shop project to use version control. Please note that the process cannot be undone. For those who are watching, if you want to test configuration as code, I would look at cloning your project and then enabling it there. As it says on screen, this is a one way and it cannot be undone. So if you change something to config, config as code, uh, you're not going to have a good time coming back. But in this instance, I am going to select initial commit as this is my initial commit. You can also add in your optional description, select commit. And then what it should do is should use the information that you've provided, which is the URL, the default branch name, and the repository and the authentication, and also the Git file storage directory. So let's go. Uh, let's go over to the Octo Pet Shop repository. As you can see on screen, we have now have the .octopus folder. So as you can see here, you have the deployment process, the deployment settings, and the schema. Uh, version selected deployment process and then what you should see is you have your uh, the first step so this is a create infrastructure for test uh, from here you can see the next step which is the uh, health check so as you can see on screen what I've been able to do is take my existing configuration which is normally stored in the octopus database it's grabbed all of this uh, and this is actually you notice this is using OCL uh, dot OCL is stands for octopus configuration language this is the, the, the extension name that we use uh, this is uh, allows you to write this we do have a VS code plugin that does make this much easier uh, and that will be in a separate video but in this one which you can see we have the deployment process and everything here is stored and as code well, there we go. If we come down, we should see the manual intervention before destroying test. And then there we go, it's destroying the test infrastructure afterwards. So let's, there we go. If we come back to the process, that should tie up with what we've seen in the GitHub repository. As you can see, there is your run, the create infrastructure for test, the health check, deploying some Azure web apps, and then lastly, you're de de destroying the test infrastructure. 
So as you can see, some of the settings, so if you come into general, you'll see here that uh, if you cannot find some settings on this page, please go to the deployment settings. So this is something that you can do. So in this instance, you can update this, your release note templates, deployment requires, um, uh, targets required, the transient deployment targets, and you will see this information should you change it inside the deployment settings.ocl file. So as you can see, this is just using the template that is specified in Octavus. So at this point, what you can do, you can make updates. So as you can see here, we're using the mainline branch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this down. I'm going to refresh the branch list. As you can see, no other branches exist. So I'm going to select add step. So in this instance, I am just going to select to run a script. You can press down, select run a script. So what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to call this test or config as code. So you can see here, we're going to run once on a worker. The main reason isn't so much to run the, the code, run the deployment. It's just to show you how you can update it. Demo for config as code. Okay, so as you can see, I've created the PowerShell script. Uh, so what to do here, uh, if you have a look here, you can add additional steps and then do your commit. In this instance, you do have the commit uh, and you also have a quick commit. So the quick commit will just go ahead and uh, commit it to your existing branch. In this instance, I'm going to select uh, commit. I'm going to add it in PowerShell script. So from here, you do have some options. You can add in more details, or you can also commit it to the main branch. In this instance, again, I'm just going to call this demo for config as code. Select so commit. So with that, one thing just to be aware of, the service account or the project and uh, the, the password, username and password that you're using must have the ability to create branches in your Git repository. So as you can see here, we have the, the new code. So as you can see up in the branch switcher, this is also a demo for config as code. So if you come back to main, we should come down and as you can see, step 11 has disappeared. Select demo for config as code, and then it should reappear. So let's go over to the file. So from here, we've got a mainline branch. We're going to just verify we've got uh, our steps. If we scroll down, it's still the destroy infrastructure as the last step. So let's go to the very top again. We're going to switch to the demo for config as code. And then what we should be able to see is as we scroll, scroll down, test for config as code has now appeared in our repository. And as you can see here, uh, the step name and then the action, and then from there you do have the ability. I would recommend using the uh, VS Code extension that we have uh, when making large updates. It has a lot of really great features. Okay, so at this point, um, similar to what we've discussed in the past, you can use Octopus config as code and pull requests uh, as a way to uh, ask for approval and then get that approval. So once you're ready to uh, get someone else, what you can do is make your updates to the configuration as code with your deployment settings. And then from there, uh, you can make those updates. So what we're going to do is I'm going to come on over to pull request. We're going to compare and create a pull request. So As you can see, we've created the pull request. If we come down, we can merge the pull request. Select confirm merge. And then if we come on over, what we should see is if we see, uh, if we refresh the deployment process, and then switch to the main, if we scroll down, we should see step 11, test for config as code. So in this video, what I've done is I've enabled config as code for Octo Pet Shop in an existing application. Should you want to go ahead and do this and just want to test it, please do clone or export and import your project to uh, another project to allow you to test it before committing to it long term. As I said earlier on, 
This is a one-way process. Please do test it and enjoy configuration as code.